the serotonin. This is the third of the neurotransmitter series. The serotonin is a neurotransmitter that may act as inhibitory or excitatory neurotransmitter. The highest concentration of uh, serotonin are found in platelet and in GIT they are found in the enterochromaffin cells and in the myentric plexus of the GIT. The myentric plexus is between the outer longitudinal and inner circular layer of muscularis mucosa. When platelet come in contact with collagen as a result of tissue injury, the vascular endothelium that has it causes the release of serotonin and that causes the vasoconstriction. The metabolism of serotonin. Serotonin is formed from tryptophan. The enzyme hydroxylase converts tryptophan to 5-HT and tetrahydrobiopterin act as a cofactor. The 5-HT is then converted by decarboxylase to serotonin. This decarboxylase is identical to dopa decarboxylate and the serotonin is recaptured by the reuptake mechanism uh, in the presynaptic terminal like the other catecholamines and their serotonin is metabolized by mao like catecholamines to 5-HIAA 5-hydroxy indole acidic acid and the excretion of 5-hydroxy indole acetic acid in urine is an index of serotonin production Chlorophenylalanine blocks the conversion of tryptophan to 5-HT. So, and this is the rate limiting step for the formation of serotonin, the 5-HT. Serotonin in the pineal gland is converted to melatonin. So, what is pineal gland and what is the importance of pineal gland? Pineal is a calcified midline structure in the adult brain. Pineal displacement indicate a space occupying lesion in the brain. Pineal is outside the blood brain barrier and has highly permeable fenestrated capillaries. The sites of serotonin in brain. The high concentration of serotonin are found in the lateral gray horn of the spinal cord. Number two, the cell bodies are in raphe nuclei in brain stem that project to hypothalamus, limbic system, neocortex and to the spinal cord. LSD, a hallucinogenic drug, is a serotonin antagonist. Psilocybin is a psychotomimetic drug and is found in the mushroom is an antagonist to serotonin. Serotonin is concerned with sleep. There are serotonin discharges during the sleep. The serotonin discharges are rapid in awake state and absent in REM sleep and they are slow during the drowsiness and more slow with burst during this sleep. Serotonin is excitatory to prolactin secretion. Remember dopamine is inhibitory. Serotonin inhibits the pain pathway in the dorsal horn. Serotonin innervation in suprachiasmatic nuclei of hypothalamus is concerned with the regulation of circadian rhythm. The discharges of the serotonergic neuron is involved in slow wave sleep in NREM sleep is stage 3 and 4 which is a slow high amplitude wave. It is absent in REM sleep. Serotonergic neurons that project to the limbic system have their cell bodies in the raphe nuclei in hindbrain and they facilitate the sleep. 
as we discussed before that chlorophenylalanine blocks the conversion of serotonin uh, try tryptophan to 5-HT and this chlorophenylalanine decreases the brain serotonin and this causes insomnia and this effect is overcome by administration of 5-HT which restores the serotonin content of the neuron to normal level. The drug reserpine decreases both serotonin and catecholamine that blocks the slow wave sleep and hypotonia. No single neurotransmitter is responsible for REM sleep and in REM sleep we have rapid low voltage irregular pattern as seen in an alert individual. Locus cerulus and norepinephrine play an important role in sleep and REM sleep is decreased by brain stem lesions that decrease the forebrain norepinephrine. The cholinergic neurotransmitters they play a role in REM sleep. Adequate amounts of serotonin are required for many body processes. It is adequate amounts are required for a stable mood and to balance any excessive excitatory neurotransmitter firing in the brain. Caffeine which is a stimulant that can deplete the serotonin over time. Serotonin also regulates many other functions such as carbohydrate craving, uh, sleep cycle as we already discussed, you discuss pain control because in the lateral gray hour and contains, controls the appropriate digestion. Low serotonin levels are also associated with decreased immune system function. The serotonin receptor modulates the release of many neurotransmitters that is glutamate, GABA, dopamine, norepinephrine, acetylcholine and many other hormones including oxytocin, prolactin, vasopressin, cortisol, corticotrophin and substance P. They influence various biological and neurological processes such as aggression, anxiety, cognition, learning, memory, mood, sleep and thermoregulation the serotonin receptors. Serotonin receptors also known as 5-HT receptors are a group of G protein coupled receptor in the central and the peripheral nervous system that activate an intracellular second messenger cascade to produce an excitatory or inhibitory response. So how do they produce an inhibitory response? That if they decrease the cellular cyclic AMP, then it's inhibitory. How they become excitatory? They increase the cellular AMP, number one. Number two, they increase the cellular level of IP3 and diacylglycerol. And number two, if acting on sodium potassium cation channels, that is by depolarizing, uh, that depolarizes the plasma membrane. The serotonin receptors are the target of variety of drugs including antidepressants, antipsychotics, antiemetics, antimigraine and hallucinogens. And different drugs act on different types of 5-HT receptors and there are many types of serotonin receptor. For example, ergot activates different ergot activate different type of 5-HT receptors and norepinephrine act on different receptors so the effect is different whereas LST a cyclidelic act as a hallucinogen is a hallucinogen act on others serotonin is intimately involved in emotion and mood too little serotonin is shown to lead to depression problem with anger control and with obsessive compulsive disorders and suicide and too little also leads to increased appetite for carbohydrate trouble sleeping 
and it has also been tied to migraine and irritable bowel syndrome and fibromyalgia. Serotonin also plays a role in perception. Hallucinogens such as LSD and psilocybin work by attaching to serotonin receptor sites and thereby blocking the transmission in perceptual pathway. The opioids. The opioids are the neurotransmitters that are peptides and the main function of opioids is analgesia that is they decrease the pain perception the euphoria or pleasure and are anti-anxiety the opioids may be endogenous that is produced in the body or exogenous the endogenous peptides are endorphins and cephalins, dynorphins, endomorphins, morphine and codeine. I included morphine and codeine in the endogenous list because some morphine and codeine are produced in the body. The exogenous opioids which are not produced in the body may be divided into natural, semi-synthetic and fully synthetic. The natural opioids are morphine, codeine, thebane and heroin. Heroin is the ester of morphine but when ingested it is inactive and converted in the body to morphine. The semi-synthetic are oxycodone, oxymorphone, hydrocodone, hydromorphone and buprenorphine. The fully synthetic are pethidine, methadone, methadone is, is used in long term management of morphine addicts, levorphinol, tramadol and propoxyphene. The exogenous opiate that do not act on the opioid receptors are pepavarine and noscapine. The fourth category is some non opiates that act on opiate receptors. Example is tramadol. Tramadol act on mu receptors. The opiate receptors. There are three main types of opiate receptors. The mu receptor, the kappa receptors and the delta receptors. Morphine for example acts on mu receptors and ketazosine act on kappa receptors and encephalins they act on delta receptors. These drugs are not receptor specific for example morphine mainly act on mu receptors but it also acts on kappa and delta receptors the sigma and nociceptive receptors are not opioid receptors the sigma receptors is not reversed by naloxone Naloxone and nelorphine are opioid antagonists. What they do that they are competitive inhibitors of the opioids. They displace them from the opioid receptors and then occupy the opioid receptors but they do not stimulate them. And this is how they stop or reverses the action of opiates. The other drug dextromethorphone is an opioid with no analgesic effects. It is a potent NMDA antagonist and a sigma receptor agonist and it decreases the cough. The Celeron A is a strong kappa receptor agonist 
is not an alkaloid, has no opioid properties, and is a powerful hallucinogen. The tramadol, which is not an opioid but acts on the mu receptors, has a dual action. Number one, as I told, it acts on the mu receptors, and number two, it acts on noradrenergic and serotonergic systems. That is why it is not blocked by naloxone. The tricyclic antidepressant they relieve pain by stimulating the opioid receptors. So they also act on opioid receptors. The paracetamol, it acts on 5-HT serotonergic receptors and inhibits the release of pain substances. And it also decreases the cyclooxygenase. The endogenous peptides. The endogenous peptides, they are produced in the body and they resemble morphine. They are about 80 times more potent than morphine. They are produced in the CNS, GIT and pituitary glands. The endorphins. The endorphins, they resemble morphine. They act on mu receptor. There are three types of endorphins, alpha, beta and gamma. The endorphins produce analgesia and euphoria. They play a role in depersonalized disorders and the opioid antagonist naloxone and naltrexone are successful in treating these depersonalized disorders. The beta and orphans are also they also affect on sexual behavior and appetite. The beta and orphan are also produced by pituitary corticotrophins, corticotrophs and melanotrophs. They are also present in immune cells. After a severe traumatic injury, the acute pain is converted to dull ache. And this is due to the production of endogenous peptides which convert the acute pain into a dull pain when they are produced they stimulate the opioid receptors. The encephalins. The encephalins act on mu and delta receptors. There are two types of receptors that are G protein coupled. The leu encephalins, that is leucine and met encephalins from methionine. In met encephalins are mainly found in adrenal marula, central nervous system, and peripheral afferent fibers of the pelvic viscera. The dynorphins. Dynorphins act on kappa receptor, but they also act on mu, delta, and NMDA receptors. They are G protein coupled, and their highest concentration is found in hypothalamus, medulla, pons, midbrain, and spinal cord. The dynorphins are stored as dense core vesicles presynaptically.